Well, no, you don't, my friend. What? <gasps> How many times have I told you, never lift from the right? Andre! <laughs> I didn't know it was you. My dear fingers. I thought you had gone back to America three years ago. Didn't I give you the money for the passage? Do you know what happened, Andre? I was on my way to buy the ticket, and right then, I ran into a couple of guys with a great business opportunity. Fingers. Another crap game. How did I know I was playing with crooks? Take my advice, my friend. Go back to America. The French police are too smart for you. But not for you, Andy. Look at you. You always did operate first class. You skimmed the cream off the cream. My wallet, if you don't mind. Oh, I'm sorry. I wouldn't steal your wallet. Oh, I know. Especially when it is empty. Oh, Andy, no, no. Oh, but yes, yes. Yes. Come on. I know a place where them still lifes come to real life. Paris penthouse. Dinner under the stars. There is only one more thing to be desired. Of course. How could I forget? doing? It sure is good to see you again, Andy. Business hasn't been so good with me, though. But now, with you and me together... I'm afraid I must disappoint you, Fingers. Huh? What's wrong? Everything. Our philosophies of life are not the same. I'm not a thief. Please, Andy. Don't use that word. In our business, we're what you call gents of opportunity. Oh, I know it's not in your line, Andy. Your class, the big time stuff. But that's why I need you. You can give me the ideas, and I can do all the work. What do you say, Andy? We partners? I don't think so, Fingers. Of course, it might be different, I suppose, if one could be sure that... Uh, well, I mean, I, I don't want to. Well, last winter, for instance, I was at Monte Carlo. I saw some of the fools who throw their money away, you know, professional gamblers. Now, of course, if our victims were such as they... Let's not get too impractical. Now, now, wait. There are plenty of those in Paris. Here, they attend the opera, the ballet, the races. Yeah, that's the idea. That's the place where we can heist a bucket of ice. Ice? Yeah, just a trade term, you know, uh, diamonds, emeralds, rubies. Andy, our public is crying for us. Fingers, tomorrow, one of the great dress houses on the Rue de la Paix it's showing its latest fashions. There will be many Americans. There, you see? You got imagination, nothing but the best. We'll work on them, fast, with a finesse. What do you say, Andy? <laughs> Perhaps. I'll think about it. Give me some more. on the bodice, which serves to highlight the simple elegance of the entire creation, and to flatter Madame's shoulders, a mink stole designed by Monsieur Raymond. Uh, Mademoiselle, may I see the dress, please? Uh, without the stole. A 
And here we have possibly the most daring gown to be displayed this season in all of Paris. Madame will wear this in the spirit of high adventure. And with it, she will cast a spell of enchantment over all her lucky admirers. The deep décolleté is outlined and emphasized by the border of sparkling brilliance. The skirt which clings without binding is split to the knee, giving that final, perfect touch of sufficiency. For those who are perhaps more conservative in taste, we present the dress of many. Excuse me. What time is it? It's five minutes to noon. Thank you. With a skirt of ideal length, Correct for the cocktail hour, the theater, and intimate evening. Stick in your pocket, quick. No, I'll meet you outside around the corner. Regal and resplendent. This cape brings to mind the glory of the I want it! I want it! Call your manager. That is a big pocket. He asked me for the time. That's when he stole my wallet. And there were over 200,000 francs. Uh, monsieur. 20,000 francs reward for my wallet. 20,000. Then do you mind counting it out, please? What? I found this on the carpet. It is mine. Thank you. Uh, the reward. Very well. But, Andy, we had the guy's wallet. We should have kept it. Sometimes honesty is the best policy, my friend. Besides, 10,000 francs apiece. The show took you long enough to get here. Well, I had to wait until the show was over. Otherwise, I might have been suspected. Taxi! 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 That handbag. Maybe we can... Haley, wait! Permit me, mademoiselle. Thank you, monsieur. Allow me. Taxi. Oh, thank you very much. I, I think I can manage now. My name is Baron André de Fontenac. Baron? Uh, my name is Sidonie. Sidonie? How charming. But surely there is more. Does it matter? Taxi. At least you must give me your address, so I may direct the driver. Thank you, but uh, I'm not going home. Oh, good. Then perhaps you will do me the pleasure of tea. I'm sorry, but uh, I haven't time. An appointment? Yes. Hmm. With a girlfriend, I hope. No, I'm, I'm not meeting anyone. Oh. You have an appointment, but you're not meeting anyone. Well, that was all the mystery intrigues me. Now, where shall we drive? All right. To the zoo. Well, driver, to the zoo. To the zoo? Taxi! And how are you today, Bozo? We were talking about you last night. Hello, Jumbos. Have your ears been burning lately? It's a little warm for you today, isn't it? Wink and blink and a nod. Hello, Mr. Camel. Have you missed us? Have you been wondering where we were? We? Oui? Well, you certainly stared at that camel long enough. Oh, mind you, I admit he is fascinating, but... I'm sorry, but... 
I had to see the camel. But why? Let's ride the carousel. But... Now, look. First the zebra, then the elephants, then the penguins, then the camel, now the carousel. No, no, no. I'm a very curious man. And very gallant. Well, thank you. At last I've made some impression. You've been so very kind, but... But you really shouldn't bother with me. There are other girls. Sydney. Sydney. Look at me. You're crying. Why? What's the matter? Please tell me. What? Fingers. My bag. I'll get it back. You know him. You were both at Madame Pacanelli's. Sidonese. You're thieves. Just come and see. No, please. I'll, I'll get it back. Never mind. Don't bother. <laughs> Nothing in a bag but a comb, a lipstick, and a key. Why did you do it? Why? Wasn't this what we were after? Of course not. Look here. Oh, the pawn shop ticket. And the letter. Let's see. Good looking dame, yeah. Fancy clothes, yeah. But money? No. Like I always say, the best geese for plucking ain't always wearing peacock feathers. Fingers, I want you to go to the municipal pawn shop. Huh? Give them this ticket and uh, bring back whatever she has pledged. You think it might be something good, huh? Perhaps. Now, let's see. We have to get these clothes back to the customers anyway. Meet me there in an hour. To me. I'm allergic to them guys in monkey suits. Ah, please, fingers. You insult the dignity of the army of France. No kidding. French terror for a legion. Oh, I get it. We're going to some military blowout tonight. While the brass hats are saluting you, I clean their pockets. Hey, hey, careful. The proprietor may hear you. He's on the telephone. Oh. Hey, at the party tonight, why can't I wear this? What did you find at a pawn shop? I can't hear you. <laughs> what did you find at the pawn shop? It cost us 5,000 francs plus interest. What had she pledged? You ain't gonna be happy. Yes, I know. She's married. Her name is Madame Claudel. And she lives six with her feet. How do you know? Well, it was in the letter we found in the purse. Hey, what are you doing? That's part of the plan. Oh, the plan, yeah. The girl's gonna work with us tonight, huh? Just like in the movies. The doll gives the rich suckers the eye, you give them the frisk, and I drive the getaway car. Any of you marvelous, you're really thinking big. <laughs> Fingers. I am sorry to keep you waiting, monsieur. And the uniform? Oh, it's fine. Very good. I'll wear it now, if I may. Certainly, monsieur. I'll pick up my suit tomorrow. I am sorry. We'll close at 5.30. It's all right. Uh, the rental will be 3,000 francs for the night. Fingers. Uh, pay the gentleman, please. But, Andy, that's all the money I got left. Fingers, please. Uh, thank you. And the cut away, monsieur. That's in the box. I hope, monsieur, that you enjoy the party tonight. And it, it will be a great success. It better be. Well, au revoir, my friend. Au revoir. What about tonight? What about a job? Oh, it'll be done, but uh, this is one job I must handle alone. You wouldn't be thinking of double-crossing the pile, not you, Andy. Perhaps this will explain. It's the letter we found. My dear husband, it is very hard for me to write you this, but I find I cannot wait until you are free again. 
The doctors have at last given up hope for our son. Jean will... Jean will... Jean. That's our son. Jean will live perhaps another month. To make Jean happy, I go every afternoon to the zoo and look at all the animals he loved to see when he could walk. Tomorrow, Jean will be six years old. He asks for only one birthday present, to meet his father. I don't have the courage to tell him the truth. Prison is such a hard word for a little boy to understand. I can only repeat to him that you cannot get leave. The foreign legion is far away, but your thoughts will be with him tomorrow. And always. Danny, that boy has never seen his father. No. And there ain't any military blowout tonight? No. And, uh, what's the idea? Just wish me luck, my friend. Happy birthday, mon capitaine. Well, Jean, you made a birthday wish. What was it you wanted most? Everything is going to be all right now. Look what I brought you. Oh, Papa! Monsieur! The man, he's here, he's come! Sidonie! My wife! My darling! What? Told you, Mama and Papa would not forget my birthday? Oh, never, Jean. Not if I had to swim and walk all the way back from Algeria. As it was, I had to ask him. Um, special leave for my post. You did not tell me Mama and Papa were such a great soldier. See? <laughs> he must be more than a captain. Oh, oh, I was promoted. I'm a general. You hear Mama and a general? Yes, Jean. Monsieur. Perhaps you mean this for kindness, but you might break his heart. Please, do trust me. Listen, Mama. Bravo, Jean. You know you are better than my regimental bugler. And now we shall have a fine birthday dinner. Won't we, Sidonie? A wonderful dinner. Francois. Oh, make a wish. You must know what I wish for, Papa. That you would be here on my next birthday. Birthday wishes should be secret. And in Africa, you ride on a big white camel. An enormous white camel with trappings of gold. A camel even bigger than the one Mama and I saw at the zoo. Twice as big. That's one. Papa, you will come to visit us on my 
next birthday? Won't you, Papa? Yes, Jean. Next year will be all well again, won't I, Papa? Yes, Jean. When I grow, I will be a soldier, too. I will ride a big white camel. I will be just like the father. Of course. Of course you will. Yeah. My bugle. Good night, Jean. Good night, Papa. Dream of me. I will, Papa. Good night, Jean. Good night, Ramon. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. Sweet dreams, Jean. Monsieur. Andre, you must know my gratitude. Presents for Jean, my wedding ring, the money. But most of all, your being here. The good Lord must have a special place in his heart for, for thieves such as you. I've had my reward. You see, in my life, I've been many men. But tonight, I've been the only one which matters. Good luck, my dear. No, you don't, my friend. What? <gasps> How many times have I told you, never lift from the right? Andre! <laughs> I didn't know it was you. My dear fingers. I thought you had gone back to America three years ago. Didn't I give you the money for the passage? Do you know what happened, Andre? I was on my way to buy the ticket, and right then, I ran into a couple of guys with a great business opportunity. Fingers. I know the crap game. How did I know I was playing with crooks? Take my advice, my friend. Go back to America. The French police are too smart for you. But not for you, Andy. Look at you. You always did operate first class. You skimmed the cream off the cream. My wallet, if you don't mind. Oh, I'm sorry. I wouldn't steal your wallet. Oh, I know. Especially when it is empty. Oh, Andy, no, no. Oh, but yes. 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 Come on. I know a place where them still lifes come to real life. Paris penthouse. Dinner under the stars. 
There is only one more thing to be desired. Of course. How could I forget? What are you doing? place where them still lives come to real life. Barry's pet house, dinner under the stars. There is only one more thing to be desired. Of course. How could I forget? doing? It sure is good to see you again, Andy. Business hasn't been so good with me, though. But now, with you and me together... I'm afraid I must disappoint you, Fingers. Huh? What's wrong? Everything. Our philosophies of life are not the same. I'm not a thief. Please, Andy. Don't use that word. In our business, we're what you call gents of opportunity. Oh, I know it's not in your line, Andy. Your class, the big time stuff. But that's why I need you. You can give me the ideas, and I can do all the work. What do you say, Andy? We partners? I don't think so, Fingers. Of course, it might be different, I suppose, if one could be sure that... Uh... Well, I mean, I, I don't want to. Well, last winter, for instance, I was at Monte Carlo. I saw some of the fools who throw their money away, you know, professional gamblers. Now, of course, if our victims were such as they... Let's not get too impractical. But now wait. There are plenty of those in Paris. Here, they attend the opera, the ballet, the races. Yeah, that's the idea. That's the place where we can heist a bucket of ice. Ice? Yeah, just a trade term, you know. Uh, diamonds, emeralds, rubies. Andy, our public is crying for us. Fingers. Tomorrow, one of the great dress houses on the Rue de la Paix it's showing its latest fashions. But you would be here on my next birthday. Birthday wishes should be secret. And in Africa, you ride on a big white camel. An enormous white camel with trappings of gold. A camel even bigger than the one my mom and I saw at the zoo. Twice as big. That's one. Papa, you will come to visit us on my next birthday? Won't you, Papa? Yes, Jean. Next year, I'll be all well again. Papa. Yes, Jean. When I 
I grow, I will be a soldier too. I will ride a big white camel. I will be just like a father. Of course. Of course you will. Yeah. My bugle. Good night, Jean. Good night, Papa. Dream of me. I will, Papa. Good night, Jean. Good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. Sweet dreams, Jean. Monsieur. Andre, you must know my gratitude. Presents for Jean, my wedding ring, the money but most of all, your being here. The good Lord must have a special place in his heart for, for thieves such as you. I've had my reward. You see, in my life, I've been many men, but tonight, I've been the only one which matters. Good luck, my dear. You must know my gratitude. Presents for Jean, my wedding ring, the money, but most of all, your being here. The good Lord must have a special place in his heart for, for thieves such as you. I've had my reward. You see, in my life, I've been many men, but tonight, I've been the only one which matters. Good luck, my dear.
Taxi. Oh, thank you very much. I, I think I can manage now. My name is Baron André de Fontenac. Baron? Uh, my name is Sidney. Sidney? How charming. But surely there is more. Does it matter? Taxi. At least you must give me your address, so I may direct the driver. Thank you, but uh, I'm not going home. Oh, good. Then perhaps you will do me the pleasure of tea. I'm sorry, but uh, I haven't time. An appointment? Yes. Hmm. With a girlfriend, I hope. No, I'm, I'm not meeting anyone. Hmm. You have an appointment, but you're not meeting anyone. Well, that was all the mystery intrigues me. Now, where shall we drive? All right. To the zoo. Well, driver, to the zoo. To the zoo? Taxi! And how are you today, Bozo? We were talking about you last night. Hello, Jumbos. Have your ears been burning lately? It's a little warm for you today, isn't it? Wink and blink and a nod. Hello, Mr. Camel. Have you missed us? Have you been wondering where we were? We? Oui. Well, you certainly stared at that camel long enough. Oh, mind you, I admit he is fascinating, but... I'm sorry, but... I had to see the camel. But why? Let's ride the carousel. But, now look. First the zebra, then the elephants, then the penguins, then the camel, now the carousel. No, no, no. I'm a very curious man. And very gallant. Well, thank you. At last I've made some impression. You've been so very kind, but... But you really... Oh, Annie. Perhaps this will explain. It's the letter we found. My dear husband, it is very hard for me to write you this, but I find I cannot wait until you are free again. The doctors have at last given up hope for our son. Jean will... Jean will... Jean. That's our son. Jean will live perhaps another month. To make Jean happy, I go every afternoon to the zoo and look at all the animals he loved to see when he could walk. Tomorrow, Jean will be six years old. He asks for only one birthday present, to meet his father. I don't have the courage to tell him the truth. Prison is such a hard word for a little boy to understand. I can only repeat to him that you cannot get leave. The foreign legion is far away, but your thoughts will be with him tomorrow, and always. Annie, that boy has never seen his father. No. And there ain't any military blowout tonight? No. And, uh, what's the idea? Just wish me luck, my friend.
будущее. Happy birthday, мой капитан. Well, Jean, you made a birthday wish. What was it you wanted most? I asked for you in my 